Hi everyone, it's Mike and Raymond from Clayson. And we're going to do the first mission for Zombie Side Dead or Alive. Yeah, the bandwagon. And we got a team down here. I'm going to be using Jeans the Gunslinger, Casey's a Brawler, and Father Winston, who's a faithful. And then Khaleesi and Raven are going to have a team together of who you guys using. Uh, Hannah, who's a townsfolk. Ollie, who's a townsfolk, and Bonnie, who I believe was also a townsfolk. Yep. Yeah, you guys got all townsfolk? Yep. And then Ollie, we got the running wild one. Chris is going to be using Ollie that they can actually be on a horse. So their character starts on a horse and can go on and off. Cool. That's kind of cool. And Bonnie is from the Gears and Guns one. So we don't have any, we didn't use the Steam deck or going to use the Steam rules, but she's from that steampunky version of the game. So Raven's just going to read the story and how this mission plays out. All right. The trains are coming and it ain't going to stop. This here is our chance to skedaddle out of this zombie-ridden outpost. Ain't going to leave empty-handed, though. Place is chock full of bounty weapons that'll soon be ours. So the objectives are prove your worth and get in the train. Accomplish the objectives in order to win the game. Number one, get... One bounty weapon per survivor. So there's seven bounties in total, I think, and we each have to get this. We have to have six bounty weapons. And it says some may be found in town, but you'll need to accomplish some feats to complete the count. And like in the tutorial, message, there's on the bounty weapons, like this one we have on the top there, we need to get 10 IP or more with dynamite to get that. Or we got to pick up one of the objectives. An exit with all survivors on the train. There must be no zombies on board. So the train is those tiles there that when it first comes, it starts there and it can actually work its way through the town. Right. That's what the blue objective is. Each tick, it goes down at the end phase. And then at the final one, when it leaves, you flip over that tile and it turns into a train. Okay. And the train may enter the board before you get all the required bounty weapons. Yeah. So we'll keep that in mind. Um, you already talked about the blue objective. It can't be taken. Yep. And each objective gives 5 AP and the top bounty weapon, if there are any left, to the survivor who takes it. Okay. The survivor may reorganize their inventory for free. That's it. Oh, it doesn't talk about the wagon or anything? Not that I saw. Okay, yeah. So the wagon is in this one. We're on top of it. And the, the Gatling gun is... In the wagon, so it can't come out. Okay. So whoever's in the wagon can use the gathering gun, but we can't take the gathering gun out of the wagon. Okay. And the wagon rules will go through those once you play them, but those are the cards there. And I'll be the starting player. Okay. So we're going to start the mission. So I'm going to activate Casey first, and to move the wagon takes three actions, and you move it forward. Anyone in the wagon goes with it. Okay. So I'm going to move the wagon up one space, and the gathering gun comes with wagon. All right. What happens if the train is coming and the wagon is on the railroad? The the wagon gets ran over. So you got to be careful you're not in the wagon when it's coming too. But if your zombies don't move out of the way of the train, but we get to jump out of the way. So it's okay. But the wagon gets smushed with a gathering gun in it. So it's you got to be careful not to leave it on the tracks. <laughs> so Casey moved that up. So I'm going to activate Jeans, and he's going to move forward one into the zone. Khaleesi, do you want to move the guy with the hat into the building? Yeah, there's no doors in this one. That's his first action. So now that he's in that building, the white spawn point is activated now in that. For my second action, I'm going to search. So I need the blue weapon. Schofield. So that's one dice, four, does two damage, so that's pretty good. 
And I have one more action. I can't search again because I'm not a townsfolk. So I'm just going to come out into the street. So do you want to move me out into the street? And he's done. I'm going to activate Father Winston and he's going to go into that same building. Which one's Father Winston? Uh, the guy with the blue. And then I'm going to pick up a weapon. I'm going to search. A tomahawk. Oh, that's good for Casey if I can give it to her. And I'm going to go back out on the street. I'm going to leave that objective for you guys because I'm pretty sure it's a rifle because the picture represents usually what it is. Right. And that's my team. Okay, Khaleesi, you're going to move Ollie? Yeah. So the riders get to move two zones a move. So you're thinking you might go get... Because you're the fastest, you might go get that, that, that objective over by the Abomination spot? Yep. Okay, so for your first action, you can move up two. Because that's two. There you go. And then you want to move up right next to where that door is then? You could have moved one more, but you want to be, you can't move into the buildings with the horse. So that's your second action. Now, to get off the horse doesn't cost any actions, so you can get off the horse for free. So, we will switch the marker for her on foot, and her horse goes next to her. So now, Ollie's off her horse. And now you have one more action. Do you want to move into that building, and you can set up to get the objective next time? Yep. So, Ollie's done. And now that horse is out there, we can't let that horse take one damage, or the horse dies. Okay, I'm going to activate Bonnie. Bonnie's going to go into the building. Okay. This one. For one. Over here. That's all one zone. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah. For one. Pick up the objective. For two. So that gives you five XP. And the bounty weapon. So which one is it? Oh, Henry, one to three. Does that say repeater? Henry yeah. Repeater. That's does cool. two damage. Nice. That's a good one. Cool. So we got our first bounty weapon now. Yep. And then what's the next one? Gain five AP or more while standing on a balcony in a single turn. Ooh. Ooh, that one might be a little tough. It could yeah. be good for the town folk if they're up there. but Yeah. But if it's a tough one, that's when you know, because we have Ollie set up to get the next one. Maybe get that's when you draw the objectives, maybe? Yeah. Okay, so that was your second turn. Yep. So you have one more thing you can do? Third. She can come up. And then we have Hannah. Okay. So I'm thinking Hannah's going to go in the building also. Is she going to search? She is. So and she's a town folk, so they can search too. Pull me a blue card. Uh, Remington, a pistol. Okay, that's a dual wood one. Nice. Okay. And then she's going to go back out with the group. Okay, so are you going to... Yeah, you have a choice of search again, or you can come back out? Come back out. Okay. There's a spawner in there, so... Yep, yeah, it's good to turn those off, though, because we don't want to have... If we have more than seven on the map, we automatically lose, and you don't want multiple spawners on there, so... Yeah, we got to get some water, though. Yep, so we have to search to get it. And that's everyone on our team? Yep. Okay, so the blue objective moves at the end phase. Not yet, so... Once the zombie goes, so we're going to be, there's four spawn points open right now. So we'll do the top one first. So the spawn right there, Chrissy, what do we get? Abomination. Oh, right off the bat. Okay, so we got to draw which abomination is coming. Stop oh. tongue. Oh, that's a new one to finish up. The one that you think is like. A giant green squig. Any survivor standing at zero to one and was in line of sight of the Swamp Tongue has to spend another additional action to leave it. So he binds you down a little bit. Cool, so we'll grab him. So Swamp Tongue's over there by the horse. Yep. And then we flipped over the Abomination Spawner. So from that spawn... Extra activation. All brutes. There's no brutes on the board, so that's good. And it also says no one. Yeah, because we're in blue. Okay, so that worked out. 
Okay, so we have this white spawn open now, so we got to draw from that one. Times two walkers. Okay, so from the one from the railroad track. Times two brutes. Okay, jailbird brutes. And then from the abomination spawn. All walkers. Oh, no. Because no we're not, we have people at five, but no one's in yellow yet. Nope. Okay, so that was a danger. That first move there was gambling, but it worked out. So. Now it's our turn. That's the map, and your team gets to go first. So Ollie's going to go, and you want to pick up that objective, right, Calissi? Yes. Okay, so that gives you five XP. And you can pick up that objective. And you get that bounty weapon. What's that one do? Zero to two, two dice, three. Oh, that's pretty good. You can't fan with it though, so gunslingers can't use that to fan. But that's your weapon now. Okay. And now you have one you're gonna spend one action to go out where your horse is. Yes. And you get to go on your horse for free, so you're gonna do that. So we'll set you up on your horse. Also, the blue objective would have went down one zone for ticking the time when the train comes. Right. Now, this is a weird rule that comes up with sometimes with the daily zombies or whatever that Ollie has slippery when she's on the horse, which means she can slip past zombies. The slump tongue binds you when you have to spend another activation to leave their zone, kind of like you're in their zone when you can't get past them. So the slippery negate that rule. Also, horses get to move two zones per move. So if she slips, she could either move two back to here, or how would we play that out? I think the worst case is she wouldn't be able to move at all and be binded, but then that would ruin her ability to be able to slip. Yeah. So I think we'll play half, and then she'll be able to slip past them, but only move one zone. Yeah. You think that, that seems fair? I think so. Right, Khaleesi? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so move down into the middle zone. There you go. So that's all one big zone there. Okay, now Ollie also has, what's her blue ability when she's on the horse? One free map, white right full action. Okay, what, how much does your rifle do, your damage on your rifle? Just one. Okay, so you can't shoot those brutes because they take two damage. Right. So then you can't use your free rifle action anyway. How far does your new pistol go? Just one. Oh, it's zero to two, but it only does one damage. Oh, it only does one damage, that one? Yeah. Okay. So Ollie's turn is done? Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'm going to activate Hannah. Hannah's going to go into this building for one. Then she's going to search. Can you pull a card for me, please, Khaleesi? Pickaxe. A pickaxe. Nice. Oh, two damage. Well, that'd be good for Casey, too. Yep. So I'll give that back to Hannah. And you have one more activation. Do you want to search again? Yes. Oh, if you get stuck in there, I can always bring Father Winston in and stop that zone too, or we'll see what we're doing. Yeah. Okay. So, so you can search again. Because town folk can search more than once. Holy water. Oh, perfect. That's what we need. Yeah. Okay. So your turn is done, but holy water doesn't cost an accent to discard. Do you want to read what that says? Discard at range 0 to 1 in line of sight of a spawn zone, abomination, or mobile spawn token. Move it to the starting spawn zone. Course pile spawn token. Flip it to its inactive side. In either case, survivor gains 5 AP. May be used in the backpack. So, you could use it right now. Even though you don't have any more activations, you can still yeah, discard it. Yeah, because there's no... That's, yep, that's, so you can throw it in that zone and turn it off. So we're going to do that. And you get 5 XP. And also, don't get into orange too quickly because it's a big jump with the Oh, you remember, yeah? That's right, Khaleesi. In this game especially, there's a huge jump. You want to try for everybody to get the orange at the same time. Right. So I'm going to activate Bonnie. Bonnie's going to move in here with Hannah. And then she's going to shoot the Henry Repeater at those two zombies. So it's three dice. Hits on fours, and I do two damage. It does two damage. 
Dynamite's a six and a four, so you get them both. Also, I don't think we moved up before, but we didn't do much. The bang token would go in your zone because you made a noise. If you do a loud noise, then the boom token would go, but that didn't happen. Right. The Gatling gun makes a boom noise, and the train makes a boom noise, dynamite. Right. So you get two XP, and those zombies are gone. So Bonnie's going to trade Hannah the Henry Repeater rifle for the Remington. Because Hannah, when she gets the orange, she gets plus one damage with rifles, right? Yes, she does. And she also has Marksman as her blue ability. So she could snipe people. Like Wasp when Marvel's on, right? Yeah. And if there's someone in her zone... So it's like Sniper. She doesn't hit people. So she can... You don't have to worry about friendly fire. Right. So that's good. And then Bonnie's going to search again. For her last action? Yep. Do you want to pull the cards, Lucy? Plenty of cells. Oh, so that's for shotgun stuff. Do you have any... No, I have bullets, but that's okay. Oh, that's good. And that's your guys' team, so it's going to be over to my team. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to activate Casey, and she's going to again help by moving the wagon up to the middle zone. It's going to get ran over by the train eventually, but then we have line of sight to all free spawns. Yep. So I'll move it up to where Ollie is. So I'm going to activate Jeans. He has taught for his blue ability, but I'm going to move him up to... And if it says on the wagon, if you end your movement in its zone, you get to get into it for free. Okay. So he's going to move up two, and then he's going to be in the wagon. But then it costs an action to get out. All right. So now I have line of sight to that spawn, the abomination, and that spawn. So, and the range for the gathering gun is one to three, so I can hit each zone. So for his last action, I'm going to gathering gun those two brutes down there. All right. And I get... Three dice hitting on the four. So, Khaleesi, you're... You can roll it. So, three dice. I need fours. Oh, one's cocked. You can re-roll one. Re that one nice. You got two sixes. Cool. So, those two brutes are done. And then the gathering gun makes a boom noise. So, the bang token would switch the boom into the zone where Jeans is. So that is now the noisiest zone. And I get 2 XP. It does have escalation range, but I don't have another any more activations to shoot more with the bullets. All right. So father's going to move up one zone. I'm not going to go in the building yet because I don't want to activate that spawn yet. I'm going to wait till next turn. All right. So then I'm just going to do my VR on Swamp Tongue over there so he can, doesn't get to activate. All right. And they have one more activation, but I'm just going to stay there with Winston. And that will be everybody's turn. Alright. So now it's a zombie phase. Swamp Tongue will get to activate, but we have the VR there, so he doesn't get to move. So we'll take the VR off. And now we'll do spawning. So where Swamp Tongue is... No, oh, someone's in yellow now, right? Yes. Who's in yellow? Bonnie's in yellow. Bonnie's in yellow? Yeah. Times four walkers. Okay. So, from that spawner there by the building. What do we get, Clissy? Times four runners. Okay. Come there. Nothing there. Go clockwise. That one's turned off. So then, that one right there. Abomination. Oh, okay. So now Swamp Tongue gets to go because the VR is on him. And we'll draw another Abomination because that's how we decided how to play it. So, we draw the Abomination. Oh, bowler hat. No special rule, but he's coming. And then from the abomination spawner. Times six walkers. Okay. And then it'll be over to us. And that's the map so far. Yep. So, boom would switch over to bang now. So that's still the noisiest zone because it's on the boom. So if it was on bang, it would get off the board and come back to the zone with the most survivors. But that's still the same zone anyway, but. And now it's going to be my team's turn. So I'm going to activate Casey. And she's going to move free zones into the building where the objective is. One, two, three. Which will trigger that spawn point. Okay. Uh, I'm going to now activate Jeans, who is still in the wagon with the Gatling gun, mm -hmm. and he's going to shoot at those runners coming down the 
where we'll track down there. Okay. So three dice hitting on fours. You want to roll closer? Dynamite and four. So I got two of them and the boom token, the bang token gets switched. So I'm going to attack that same zone and now I get another dice because the Gatling gun escalates. So still hitting on fours. Oh, uh, I got one more. How much damage does the Gatling gun do? Two damage. So because I don't want those runners to come out by this, I'm going to do that one more time. So I get one more dice because it escalates. Hitting on fours. Ah, we got it. So that last runner goes off the board. I'm going to activate Father Winston. He is going to do his VR on Swamp Tongue. For a second action, he's going to move and then go into the wagon. And as for his third action, I'm going to shoot the wagon down at those walkers. So free dice hitting on fours. I get one. So that's everybody on my team. So Kalisha, you're going to activate Ollie. And what do you want to do? I want to shoot at those walkers. Okay, your pistol goes zero to two, right? Mm -hmm. So one, two, yeah, you can reach that. Because yeah. the zone is all the way up there. Yeah. So how many dice does it get? It's two, two dice. dice. Hitting one speed and does one damage. Yep. Okay. Nice, you got two. So that was your first action. Yep. You also, because you're on your horse, you get a free range, you get a free rifle action. Do you want to try to shoot that last walker with your rifle? Yeah. So it's only. It's your crappy one, so you only hit on fives. You want to cheat? Only one dice. Ah, that's nope. okay. Well, that was for free anyway. So you got three more actions. What do you want to do? So you want to go on the building to search, you said? Yeah. So for one action, you get to move two. So you can go down to where your team is. Then you get off your horse for free. You have two actions left, so then you want to go in the building. And you want to search, you said? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do we got? Oh, Got dynamite. dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So that's going to be good with the... That doesn't get rid of spawn points, funny enough, but it does get rid of abominations. Yep. Okay. I want, I nice. Want I want to get rid of uh, the slime. Funny enough, if you get up on the building, you can throw it off the building too, off cool. the balcony. That's cool. I don't know. And we didn't use Trixie this time. You can jump off buildings too, because the jump lets you jump a certain amount of distance. Cool. You can jump. I also said when I was looking at the train, you can jump over the train too. Oh, cool. Funny enough, horses can't jump. They don't got the ability to jump, like uh -huh. leapers. They can jump. Yep, yeah, but not in this one. I don't know. I haven't looked at all the horse rider ones. I don't know if there's a specific one that does get it. Maybe. So I'm going to activate Hannah first, and she's going to search. Okay. A knife? Oh, you could use that to add plus one to another melee weapon. So that would be good with Casey, too. Cool. So that's going to go in the backpack. Um, you can do it again. Yeah, I'm going to do it again. Yep, because Townfolk can search more than once. Plenty of bullets. Which is good for her, because she has the... Henry or Peter. So you can reroll dice. Nice. Are right. you in a yellow yet with her? No. Okay. She's only in blue. Are you going to search again? Yeah, I'm going to search again. Okay. Yeah. Plenty of bullets. Okay. More bullets. Okay. Cool. More bullets. Okay. So that's Hannah. And now I'm going to activate Bonnie. Okay. So. Bonnie's going to search. Holy water! Nice, that's what we need. Awesome. That's what we were looking for. So, we're gonna move. that's for her first activation. She has four because she's in yellow. She's so gonna move out, go over there, go in there, turn so, up the holy water. Second, third. Do I have to go in there to toss it? It's zero to one. So, that's and gone. Turns that one off. Thank you. And you get five XP for that. So, we're trying to. Stay away from Borns, but she's at 12, so she's okay right now. Yeah. So and you have one more action? Yeah. Um, you going? You think she should come up with the guys in the... Yeah, because we're kind of done with these buildings. We can start setting up base here if we want. 
until we still got to get that objective if we can down right. there. But Ollie can always go over there and scout if we can. I have yeah. dynamite. And you got dynamite. So, and yeah, it's good. And, and it's good to have the town folk around buildings because they can search for stuff. So it's up to you. What do you want to do? So for her last activation, Bonnie's going to go in there. And that's everybody. Yep. So your team will start next turn. And yep. then we'll do the zombie face. So Swamp Tongue doesn't get to activate. Cool. So we'll take the VR off of that. Bowler Hat would move up one. And then we'll move up all the other zombies. So from the first spawn, um, we are in yellow. All walkers get to go. Okay, so we'll move them up. So that zone right there. Oh, no. Okay, so we'll spawn that one. And we only have one more painted. So that would be Death Grasp. Okay. So from that spawn there. Times four runners. And from the Abomination spawn. Times four brutes. Okay, so this is tough now too. Yeah. Uh, so we are kind of stuck there now. So that we're... Deciding if we would play with more than one abomination on the board. So this is a little tough. I don't know if we'll maybe especially if there's two abomination spawners on the board, that we might only play with one abomination out at a time. And then if you kill that one, then the next one will come if we're playing with multiple ones. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Because having multiple ones out there now, this is a little rough. Yeah. Because the game already is a little tough, but we'll see. Yeah. Bullet hats on the train tracks. Yeah. So it's over to you guys were last, so you guys go first? Yes. Okay. So uh, somehow I think we missed one because I went first, and at the end of the time I went first, it would have moved up one. Then you guys went first one. It should be there. Yeah. Then I went first again, so it should be there. And now you guys are going first, right? Yeah. So at the end of this turn, it should be there. Okay. So it's in the right spot now? Yeah. So I'm going to activate Hannah first. She's going to come... Here and you can't go on other people's horses. I came up. That's no. only the riders no. go on the horse. Okay. You can't steal their horse and get on and My horse. That'd be funny. I wonder if there's a mission later about stealing horses. Yeah. Well, fun. my horse. Okay. So Hannah now is going to take a shot because she has marksman as her blue ability. Okay. She's going to take a shot at that zombie that's in the zone with you guys and the abominations. Yeah, I think there's no way around that we're going to get damaged, but we'll see what we can do. So it's three dice. It's on fours. Nice. And you got it. Perfect. So, you have one more action? Yeah. So what are you going to do with your last action? You said you're going to try to push the yellow. You want to try to hit the walkers down the street, you said? Yes. Okay. So, three more dice. Hits on fours. Nice. You got two, yeah. Because we want her to get into orange because she'll get plus one damage for her rifle. Yes. So, one more shot. For your last action? Yep. Nice, nice, two more. So, you're done? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to activate Bonnie now. She's going to search. Oh, and we got, Bonnie, you got to remember, with her rifle, what's her blue ability? Plus one die rifle. So when you use rifles, you get an extra dice with her. Yes. Were you doing that before? I didn't use the rifle before. You used the, before you traded, I think you used the rifle. Oh, no, probably not. I probably forgot. Okay, yeah. So remember, with her, you get an extra dice. Yeah. So you said you wanted to search? Yep. She got water. Oh, that's good because uh, the priest can turn out the holy water. Yep, so we were going to keep that in the backpack. Gonna the faithful, not priest. Or you can use it to get, what, free XP or something? Um, free XP. I saw it on the plate. So I'm going to search again. Dynamite. Awesome. Ooh, lucky. Okay. About getting dynamite yeah, I don't. I even haven't checked. I don't even know how many dynamites are in the in the actual whole deck. If there's eight of them in there, or how many are in there? Okay. I so was saying about, other I was saying about getting dynamite, and now we're getting dynamite. And you have two more actions. Yeah. So I'm going to use one to come out of the building. And then you said you want we want some wounds to get absorbed there. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll get Casey maybe to run there after she gets the objective. Okay. So we're going to do that. She's so you're going to move, move two into where everybody is? Yes. Okay. 
So you chose, you have the option to go in the wagon. It says May, so you're not going in because you don't no. want to get stuck in there like we are. Yep. And I also want to check, it costs free access to move the wagon. Can you, does the wagon, it doesn't say on the card it has slippery, but if you're spending free access, can you push past into the next cell? Good question. So I'll check about the wagon. So Khaleesi, you want to get out of that building and get on your horse? Yep. Okay. So you want to blow up Desk Grasp? Yep. So you're going to do two zones into the zone where we are. You're going to move your horse two zones. Turn in the way that I'm going. And then you'll slip past and move one zone. There. And for your third action, you're going to throw your dynamite at Desk Grasp. Right? Mm -hmm. You throw it, and you get 5 XP for blowing them up. Bye. Good job. And you're at, how much XP are you at now, Khaleesi? 12. Good. And your turn's done, because you came out. For one, and you got your horse for free. That's your second accent, third accent, dynamite. So you're done. And the blue objective moves. At the end phase, it does, not yet. So your team is done? Yeah. So it's over to my turn? Yeah. So I'm going to activate Casey, and she's going to pick up that objective. So that gives me five XP. So she's only got five, but what's that bounty weapon, Khaleesi? Oh, it's a. A little, there we go. It's free dice. Hits on freeze one damage. Oh, that's pretty good. So our next bounty weapon is gain free AP or more with a single action with a dual pistol. If you can use dual pistols or a pistol. So we need some pistols that can do more damage yep. and more attacks. So that was Casey's first action. Her second action. So it, uh, she also has charge plus one zone. So I can move up the free when I charge. One, two, three. Even though I won't be able to attack, do any enough damage to kill them, I can still activate it because it charges me to a zone with at least one zombie mm -hmm. or abomination. So for my second accident, I'm going to search before I go. Oh, good. I needed a melee weapon. And for her last accident, because he's not in yellow yet, she's going to charge. She gets to charge up the free zone. She's going to go where... The bowler hat and swamp tongue is. She does not choose to go into the wagon. She's so tiny compared to the abomination. Yeah, she's little. So Jeans is going to spend one action to get out of that wagon. And then he's going to shoot at... Because it's zero to one for my... Schofield at those zombies down there. I'm moving in the same building, so swamp tongues... Okay, it's not... Any survivor standing at zero to one and was in line of sight must spend an additional action to leave their zone. It specifically says that I'm not leaving the zone. I was worried because it's technically a move action to come out of the wagon. Does it say you spend another activation to move? You're not. It says to leave the zone. So we're good. Okay. So I still have one more action. I'm going to shoot at those zombies. How many dice? Uh, I can either fan this one and get six. Or I shoot one. I'm going to fan it. He's a gunslinger. Might as well use the ability. So six dice hitting on a five when you fan. Did we get any? Oh, no. That's okay. But when you fan, it also makes a boom noise. So the boom token would go where we are. I'm going to activate Father Winston. And I was worried about these guys attacking us, but I totally forgot. We can maybe we'll just stun them once. It will help. I'm going to stun these guys with my VR. So... I don't want to waste an uh, accident to come out of the wagon because I want to shoot twice at those runners because I have Reaper range with Father. So I'm going to roll two dice, hitting on a five. If they both shit, I can kill two extra ones because of Reaper. Come on, fives. Oh, we got a dynamite, so I get one, and I get one extra one because of Reaper range. So that's my turn. That's our whole posse's turn. So now it goes to the zombies. Those abominations would get to go and attack us, but we stunned them. So it's getting kind of crammed there. So we'll see what happens. So from the first spawn point by the house. Times four, one. Because no one's in orange yet, right? Nope. Yeah, see, that's what we're talking. Jumping from four to eight, we were saying before, it's like anywhere between like a 40 to 50% increase. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay, so over there by Ollie. Hopefully you're okay over there, Ollie. 
times four brooms. Okay, it's there. Those ones are off. On that side. Abomination. Oh, no. Okay. So, those abominations are going to now get to go, so they're going to hit us twice. So, I'll give one to our brawler, because he has... Uh, we got to remember in that, too. Everyone else only has two wounds. Yeah. So, Casey will take one, because that's kind of her job, too. Mm -hmm. Who else wants to take a damage in that zone? We got Casey, Father. Oh, Ollie's not there. And Bonnie. Bonnie could take one damage. Bonnie can take one. Uh, Bonnie has, oh, I forgot. Who does, Bonnie has a holy water too, right? Yeah. That's something to remember too. If we, I need that to, we need that to be turned to wa holy water for my father to turn off that one if we want, right? Yes. Okay. Bonnie has dynamite. And yeah, she also has dynamite. Okay. So, uh, I'll give it to Jeans then. Okay. So Jeans can't take one more damage. Or he's dead. And then Deskgrass will go on that spawn point. What spawn point? Because he's right there. Because that's where he drew it from. Not again. Not again, yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna have to get another dynamite one over there and blow him up again. And then from the Abomination Spawner. Time for brutes. Okay. So at the end of the phase, the train marker moves down one more. And then it will be my turn. So I'm going to activate my team. Okay. And I'm going to do Father Winston first. So his first activation is to get out of the wagon. One activation. For his second activation, I'm going to VR the zone we're in so we can stun everybody there. Cool. So they don't attack us. And for his... Third activation, because he's still in blue, I'm just going to attack with a tomahawk. So it's two dice hitting on fours. I got one. one. So I'll take out uh, Walker. So he's done. Next up, I'm going to activate Casey. And C's going to attack with the bounty weapon she got. So it's three dice hitting on threes. Manitoba's Wrath, I think it's called. So hitting on freeze. We got two. So I'll take out the runner and the walker. So that put Casey into yellow, so now she has another activation. So she has three activations left. There's one runner in there. I'm going to attack again to attack that runner. And it's three dice. Hitting on freeze. Nice, two dice. So we got that Wrathful Runner in the zone. So for one action, I'm going to trade Bonnie. I'm going to give her a frying pan, and I'm going to take the holy water from... Well, oh, it's water right now. I'm going to take the water from Bonnie, give her a frying pan. And for my last activation, I'm going to trade Father Winston the water to give it to him. Okay. So that he can turn that to holy water. Okay. That's Casey's. So now I have... Jeans. He has 6 AP right now. So he's one away from that. Uh, my gun is zero to one. So I can hit those runners down the, the street there. And our next bounty is gain three AP or more in a single action with a pistol. So I might try to fan and hopefully try to get, I don't know if I get free fives, but I'll try. Cool. So I'm going to use the Schofield and fan with jeans because he's a gun singer. So I need six dice. And he's going to shoot. Uh, that's on there. I don't know if I can get it. Yeah, we'll see. see. Oh, oh, you got... Oh, nice. Holy cow. That was like mommy's roll for... Four Galactic. dynamite. You got all... That's yeah. Both that's of you great. now. Four that was a tough roll, but you got four sixes. Nice Good job. job. <laughs> so, and I got all, all four runners are dead. Good job. <laughs> so that gave Jeans another activation, so he has three left. Okay. I also got the bounty weapon. Gain free AP or more. What's a single accent? So what's that one, Khaleesi? Volcano. Volcanic, Volcanic pistol. pistol. So you can't fan with that, but it's a good pistol. Yeah. Okay. All the bounty, all the bounty pistol. You can't fan with it if you need. So three more accents for him. I can still taunt too, because he has taunt for blue. Mm -hmm. I might taunt over the desk wrap 
Death's Grasp so Barney can get the XP for it with the dynamite on her turn. Because right. I can so I don't have taunt him over yeah. and then you can throw the dynamite there. And okay. This zone is stunned so we don't got to worry about those too much. And yep. the train's coming after. And then yep, the train's coming and going to run it over. But at least then we'll get the XP for it if we blow it up. Mm -hmm. If the train hits it, we don't get the XP. Yeah. yeah. So what's the next bounty weapon? Let's see because we want to try to get those. Kill three zombies or more with a rifle in a single turn. Okay. So you're you have all town folk teams, so that's gonna be helpful for you, but you gotta get free XP. Yeah. So oh, there's some XP over there with the brutes that could help that's you try to get that I'm one. Doing. Yeah. Okay, so Gene still has free activations. I could actually get out of the zone now, because I only it's gonna take me two to get out. And one more. So I'm gonna go next to where Ollie is. So I'm going to spend... Oh, wait. Before I go, though, because I want to do that, I'm going to taunt the Death Grasp one zone axe. And he, his ability doesn't work till line of sight at the end of the zombie phase, so we're okay. Not right now. Oh, I decided that... Oh, it is going to take free, because it's going to take me one, two, three to go into the next zone, but because of Swamp Tongue... Uh, must spend an additional one. I, you need four to get out of there right now. Crap. Okay. So he can't do that. Yeah. So he still has two more activations. How far is my pistol? Zero to one. Uh, there's no one around me. No. Uh, does anyone have a Schofield at all? Or anyone need a pistol? No. I have uh... How much damage does it do? What? How much damage does it do? The Schofield? Two. Yeah. I'll keep it for him for it's a two damage fan if I have to fan later then. Yeah. So I'm just going to forego the rest of my turn then. Okay. So Jean's just done. So it's your team's turn? Yep. So I'm going to activate Hannah first. She's going to go one, two up here with the group. You're trying to get the bounty weapon? Yes. Okay. She's going to use the Henry repeater to shoot at that group of brutes. Hey, what's the range of that too? One to three. Okay, you can hit. Three dice. Hey. Yep. Three dice hits on fours. Does it, does it do two damage? Yes, it does. That's nice. why I'm doing it. <laughs> so. Oh, uh, that's okay. And then she has one more activation. Yep. So we're going to do it again. Come on. Let's get three fours. That'd be awesome. Oh, uh, you got one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to activate Bonnie now. And she's going to trade Hannah for the Henry repeater. Oh, I forgot when you used Hannah. You can... Uh, Trade now for the plenty of bullets. You could have rerolled your dice if you missed, right? Yeah, I didn't even think about it. So you traded for the plenty of bullets too? So Yeah, so start... Bonnie has the Henry Repeater and uh, one of the two plenty of bullets that Hannah had actually because she had two. Okay. So now she's going to try to kill those brutes. So three dice. Hang on board. Yes. That one's cocked. You can reroll that one. So you got one. Yep. So we're going to do that again. Three more dice. It's on four. Got one more. So there's one left. We need one more four to get that bounty weapon. Oh, all ones. That's the opposite of the other one. So we're going to re-roll all of those misses. Because of your plenty of bullets? Yes. There you go. Awesome. And now you've got, you killed three with a rifle this turn? Yes. So you get that bounty weapon and we'll get rid of that brute. So we killed three zombies or more in a turn? Yep. Let's see what it is. It's a coach. Oh, so it's gun. a shotgun. Cool. You use shotgun shells and it does reload. Okay, cool. So Bonnie gets that one. Yes. So I'm going to ditch the frying pan. Okay. And I'm going to put it in her backpack. And the next bounty weapon is gain free AP or more by killing zombies at range two or more in a single turn. Now, it shows a pistol, but it can be any weapon to do it. So you got to get free AP or more by killing zombies at range two or more. Yeah. I think it's a white phone. Okay. And was that all of Bonnie's actions too? Yes. Okay. So she doesn't have enough to throw the dynamite then? No. Okay. So, Kalisa, you're going to do Ollie next? What are you going to do? I am going to trade... Bonnie for the dynamite. So you got to move into the zone with Bonnie then? Yep. I'm 
Uh, in the bacon. Okay, so you want the dynamite from Bonnie? Is Bonnie gonna put the coach weapon in her hand then? Yes. Or in her hand. Put her okay. There. And then for your third action, you want to throw the dynamite at Death Grasp. Yes. So that gives you five XP. Yep. So Death Grasp is gone. Boom goes there because that's the noisiest cell now. Yeah. Because you threw dynamite, and you have one more activation. Do you want to stay in there with us? You still have your rifle and a pistol. There's nothing to shoot at. Yeah. I am going, I'm going to stay in that zone. Okay. So who needs, Hannah needs a pimp weapon right now? Yes. And then father needs one too. Okay. Well, Bonnie can give Hannah back the... Well, we still need two pimp, two uh, bounty weapons. Yep. So you're done then, Khaleesi? Yep. Okay. So that's our turn and we're done. So this zone would activate, but we stun them. So we'll remove the marker. And then those brutes would move up. Everything moved. So now we're going to do spawning. So from the first spawner, we got... Times four one. Oh, is anyone in orange? No, we're all in yellow, right? No one's yeah. in orange? No, not yet. All these clothes. Yep. So four runners. From that spawn point there... Abomination! Oh, okay. So that means the ones in our zone would hit us. And then Death Grasp would show up right there. Okay. So he was gonna go here. So Death Grasp shows up over here now. And then these two would go. So we gotta hit two people. Uh Fodzer hasn't been hit yet. So I can give one to Father. He's at one hit point. Jeans is at one, so we can't give the one to him. Casey's at two. So either Hannah or Bonnie can take one. Uh we'll let Bonnie take one. Okay, so Bonnie's at one? Yep. Okay, so those are the wounds from those. That's getting scary. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if we did go into that building we were planning to go with Ollie, there would have been an abomination right in there with her right now. Death grass. That would have sucked. Yeah. So lucky you didn't go in the building. Yeah. Okay. So now from this spawn point. Time six walkers. Okay. From there and then the abomination spotter what's going on there times four walkers okay lucky we didn't get another i was worried about another abomination card that would suck yeah so we'll put the four walkers there and then the train's going to be coming so at the end of the phase the objective marker moves off the board and when it moves off the board the train arrives from where it started the blue objective started so we'll move the objective off and then we flip over that tile so we flipped it over, and when the train comes, we put the boom marker from the engine, because that's the loudest part now. Now everyone that the train, the locomotive is touching, gets killed. And the spawn points go to the first part. Okay. We were in those zones, but we get pushed back onto the street, so we can go on that side or this side. I wouldn't if we're go, there. I want to cool. go on this side, because... And then the wagon gets, that's why I got out of the wagon. The wagon gets crushed too with the gathering gun. So that's gone. Okay. So those zombies are done. We don't get XP. All right. That abomination and that one, because they're in that same zone. It makes that big circle zone. Yeah. And then we'll stay on this side of the street, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. So I'll clear that up. And then it will be your guys' turn. Clear it up. And that's going to be Khaleesi's and Raven's turn. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to activate Bonnie first. For her first activation, she's going to shoot at that pack of runners over by the spawner. Okay, because you're trying to get the bounty weapon? Yeah. And what's her blue ability? Her blue ability is plus one die rifle. Did you forget to do that too when you did? Yeah, probably. So she gets four dice, right? Yeah. Three okay. dice for the Henry Peter, one dice for her plus one die rifle. And she hits on four. You also have plenty of bullets too, right? I do, but I got two. Should I risk it and re-roll it? Because I have to re-roll all of them. That's, That's what not what saying. the plenty of bullets says? Yeah. You may re-roll all attacks with weapons. Ah, uh, you got 50%. You still have three more activations to get one more. I think you're good. Do you want to keep that one? Yeah. Okay. So we'll kill two runners. So you're going to do that one more time? Yes. Right now? You're going to roll this time for me, Khaleesi. Four dice. Hit on fours. 
You got one dynamite, so we got one more, and that gives us a bounty weapon. So you did kill free XP versus zombies, but you have to wait till the end of your turn because it says or more by killing zombies reigns two or more in a single turn. So your turn's not done. Right. You want to kill that? Keep going for that runner then? Yep. So four dice. That you works. got it. So Barney got into orange. She did. And she has two orange, ab what orange abilities does she have? One, plus one free ranged action and double steam dice rifle. So we don't have steam equipment out there or the steam nozzles where you can do it. That's in the Gears of Guns one, but we're using characters from that. Yeah. Because we don't have engineers yet. Maybe we'll do a mission where we'll introduce the engineers or custom one or something. Yeah. So we won't use the double steam dice. Because that's kind of like all outing when we did Washington ZC or Fort Hendrix. It's right. almost the same, except this one you can deplete and get the things back. Which is cool. So, so I guess gonna assuming you're going to get the... Plus one free ranged. Okay. Yeah, so now she has a free ranged activation and her last activation. So you want to shoot at those brutes down the street? Yes. Ooh. That was all of them. That five tilted for a bit. Awesome. Nice. Good roll. So Bonnie's at 23 now. Just like the zombie, we once you get the orange, you kind of ramp up your character too. She's pretty good. Yes. Uh, you got one more action. Uh, um, I'm going to give Hannah back the Henry repeater rifle. Oh, yeah, because at the end of your turn, you're going to get a pimp weapon. That's a good idea. Yep. So I'm going to give that back to Hannah. And then we'll see what... And at the end of your turn, because you got free XP or more. Yep. Cold? But... I can't... But what? But what? Colt Bunt Line. So it's a long range pistol. Nice. Cool. Mm. Okay. So, Kalisha, you want to move... You said you want Ollie to go on the train? The horse can go on the train. Can I go in a train over here because it wasn't very big? Okay, so you can go one axe and you move two. So you can go one, two, and then last axe and you can go in the back. There you go. Now the horse fits. Okay. And then Hannah, you were saying Hannah will trade for the new pistol. Yep. And still take it. And give Bonnie to Springfield to put in her meet the rifle slot. Okay. And then Hannah's going to give the Colt bunt line to Father. Good. So now everybody has their bounty weapon. So we did that. So now we just got to get on the train. Yeah. So now Hannah's traded twice. Yeah. She has two more accents. Yes. Do you want to get on the front of the train? Yes. So. One, two. There you go. Awesome. Okay. And that's your team? Yes. Oh, yes. Because Bonnie's gone already. So it's over to my turn. So I'm going to activate Father Winston. He's going to VR Desk Grasp. So he gets stunned. He's still in blue. So he has two more activations. So he's going to move one over. And then in the front train car with Hannah. Go. And then Casey. Is going to move into the back with Ollie. See it? One, two. Yep, see it? And then Jeans is going to go one, two in the back with Ollie and Casey. And now we're all on the train, except for Bonnie. But so at the end of now, that's the difference too. Now the train. I'm going to double check. I think at the end of the player phase, the train moves, not at the end of the turn. So I'm going to double check that. So the locomotive does move at the end of the player phase. So it's going to move forward one. And then the other part of the train is going to come. So we'll move that on. So at the end of the player phase, the train moves forward. That was there. And it runs into the death grasp. So he's done. So he gets killed. And that spawn point would go to the starting spawn point now. Because the train hits it. And... Uh, Abomination spawn point would turn off because there's no abominations on the board. So now it'd be the zombie phase. The zombies would move up and then we'll do some spawning. So all the spawn points are over there now. Abominations one's turned off. So first spawn. 
times eight. We are in orange now, so yeah, eight brutes. There's two more spawns there, so what's the next one? Extra activation, all runners. There's no runners on the board. Okay, so that's good. And then the very last spawn. Abomination. Oh, well, that's not going to matter too much, but we'll shuffle up the deck and see who comes last. I'm tongue. Ah, uh, he's the last one to come on. Okay, so we'll put him down. So, with Bonnie getting on the train on her turn, and at the end of the player phase, we're going to be off the train. So, I could take, what I'll do is, I would have moved one, two, VR, three, four. I could actually VR the brutes in the front there. So, I'd move over two zones. Three, okay, to there. I'll VR the brutes, so stunning them to getting closer to the tray. And then I'm gonna spend my last activation to go in with Ollie. Uh, they can really actually, because there's a door here. This is one zone here, so they can actually see out the door and actually shoot there if they really wanted to. But we'll just we'll play it out. I think we're good. There's no way they could have came up. So I'll just forfeit the rest of my turn to make it easier. Bonnie's going to go on the train for her turn. Yes. We're all in there. At the end of the player phase, we would move off. And we would beat the mission. Because the train, the locomotive part's on there still, but all the players are going to be off the board. Because what's the, the objectives for the mission? Get one bounty weapon per survivor, which we did. Yeah. And exit with all survivors on the train. There must be no zombies on board. Okay, so we are exiting with all survivors on the train. No zombies are on the board when we exit. The locomotive will be left behind. But I think because we're stunned and everything, that doesn't really matter. We're already off the board. Yeah. So we beat the mission. Cool. Yay. That was fun. Did you like that one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got to try out the new Swamp Tongue Abomination. You want to keep that one too? Is that right, Lucy? Squig. Squig one? It's, I like the little tweaks that they've done compared to 2.0. Mm -hmm. And they've kept some stuff that was similar, but given it a little bit of extra, like, Wild West flavor, if you will. Yeah, I like painting these ones too. There's lots of cool ones I still have to paint oh, up. Yeah. The next mission, I think it's just you have to go get the brawlers too, so you can't have any brawlers in your uh, posse of people. Oh, okay. And then you got to blow up the train too. Cool. In the middle, so. That sounds fun. Yeah. And just like we've done in 2.0 or any other ones that will, we're doing a little different there. We're going to pick free people to put into the store. Yeah. And sometimes abominations, but Khaleesi wants to keep this one this time, right? So we'll see who we'll put into the store. Yep. So thanks for joining us this time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you like the Wild West content, let us know. We'll see you next time.